pretending to go on vacation, my father, uncle, and grandparents escaped from Nazi Germany in 1938. After the war, the family's housekeeper sent photographs and a few mementos to their new home in New York. My grandmother loved to talk about Germany and her family history, and I loved hearing about it. We sat together as she showed me the photographs, my father and his brother on the ski slopes, the kind elderly faces of my great aunts and great grandmother who all perished in the concentration camps. I would gaze at the last remaining documents of lives lived and recognize the importance of recording our history. So from a fairly early age, I loved to take photographs. When I went to Israel for a year after high school, I enrolled in my first photography course and was totally hooked. I came back to the States to go to photography school in Boston and became a freelance documentary photographer for alternative newspapers, particularly Gay Community News and Equal Times, a women's paper. In my spare time, I followed around a friend of mine, a geriatric social worker, and I photographed her clients. I shot black and white and took great pride in trying to master the craft of photography composing the shots just right and spending hours in the darkroom to produce rich archival prints. In the mid-80s, I became a parent and began to work full-time in public access TV. I no longer had time to do any serious photography. Instead, I began to shoot with a $20 plastic panoramic camera and created collages of expansive landscapes, notably my favorite beach on the Cape. I shot color so that I didn't have to go into the darkroom and was satisfied with drugstore prints. For my 50th birthday, right before a trip to China to visit my son, I received a Horizon panoramic camera made in Russia. The photos in this show represent my first efforts with this camera, the first shots I took in China, and then more recently, back to the beach. I like the wide, expansive view and the way the camera bends the horizon. In the future, I hope to try some black and white, and who knows, maybe I'll get back into the darkroom. <laughs>